Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? A Frilici Friday. The sun is shining around here and we got a ton of snow. Well, not a ton, but a good amount. Anyway, we haven't had that much snow this winter and it is so bright, like the sun reflecting off of the bright white snow. It is beautiful outside. So happy to have a beautiful, crisp uh, winter morning here. I was out shoveling, I got my workout in and then I went and shoveled the driveway and I did like, well, I live on a corner, so there's like a lot of sidewalk to um, shovel. So I got one pass through. I'm like, okay, maybe later today I'll be able to get the rest of that. But anyway, one person can walk all along my house uh, on the sidewalk. So anyway, all is good. So you guys, okay, we are going to have some fun today. We are playing with this. Hi, Philomena. Hello, welcome. This is the best day stamp set. This is one of those sets that I have been just dying to play with that. Kitty cat is so cute. Good morning. Bonnie. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Luann. Welcome, welcome, ladies. So yeah, we are going to have lots of fun playing with this super cute, the best day stamp set. Uh, let's see, featuring, so I, I love this. There are a couple of fun stamp or uh, sentiments in here, like wishing you all the wishes. I think that one's super cute. Um, it's the best day because it's your birthday. Happy birthday, and it's all about you. And then I've got a, ooh, Chew, excuse me, tickle in my nose. Hopefully that doesn't happen 15 more times like it normally does. We'll see. I got my Kleenex handy just in case. Um, a little tickle. I don't know. It's almost like allergy stuff. So um, anyway, but fun. This, like, look at this super cute, the happy birthday or the happy. Yes, yeah, it's happy and birthday. Good morning, Miss Deb. Thanks for sharing. And then that little kid, kitty cat, like, popping out of the cupcake. Just so cute. So we are going to have lots of fun playing with this stamp set today with some fun um, designer series paper, the host designer series paper that I've totally drawn a blank on the name of it but we'll figure that out when we get when we get to those cards so I'm really excited about um, sharing those cards with you today so yes what else oh so actually last weekend we did something my friends and I call it craft o -rama. so basically it's like a girls weekend where we get together uh, we kind of rotate around different friends houses there are four of us um, and so we each kind of host, um, we do it a couple times a year. Um, anyway, and basically we just get together and craft all weekend long, which we all know how much fun that is. My sister who doesn't craft is like, what, why, what, I don't understand. Hey, Sharon. Uh, but the fun part is so that it's not only is there crafting, but we watch like a ton of like chick flick movies. So lots of different rom-coms. We watched, what did we watch? Um, Oh, Mar I think it's called Marry Me with Jennifer Lopez. It was super duper cute. Um, what else did we do? I don't know, just tons of movies, tons of like snacks and eating, like the whole weekend is planned around food too. Maybe a cocktail or two in the evenings, nothing crazy, cause we gotta keep our crafting mojo. Maybe that helps us with our crafting mojo, right? Anyway, but so the fun part is the girls have like gone crazy these days with all of the things that, so we all like bring little treats for each other. And I tell you what, like they basically totally outdid themselves. I didn't even bring what I made. I think I don't have any extra now that I'm thinking about that. Um, but anyway, I'll share with you all of the things that I got from my other friends at Craft. Oops, excuse me, that did not work out very well. So this is a fun little, and it was on like a little easel. Nikki, hello. Oh, you're welcome for the birthday card. I hope you have a great birthday. Uh, okay, so the little easel, so it's backwards, right? But I'll read it to you. It says, I am a craftaholic on the road to recovery. Just kidding. I'm on the road to the craft store. <laughs> so we all had one of these at our table when we sat down uh, Friday. We get there Friday afternoon. And then, um, and I haven't even, I think there's like yummy treats inside here. But this is a fun little gift bag with some of that Night of Navy ribbon. This is a retired celebration paper. Hello, Charlene. Hello, Beth. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, but this is that Night of Navy ribbon. Super, I love I love that ribbon. So just a fun little treat bag right there. Um, where am I going to put it? I think I'll just like stack them all up. This is another beautiful box featuring some of the new online exclusive um, designer series paper, gems, and stamp set. Beautiful. And the, the uh, really cool thing about this is inside is one of these beautiful, it's, a, it's called um, Capri Blue Volcano. Uh, she, Jennifer was the friend's house that we went to. She was burning one of these candles all weekend long. And then she gave us each one of them and they smell so yummy. Love those. And then that's the box too. So it's funny how I was joking. Like I love like the boxes. I'm like a little kid, right? I love the boxes even more than like what's inside. But this one was pretty fabulous with that. Um, 
inside. Actually, I'll show you because here's another little box. Uh, another friend, Melissa, made this box. And let's see, does it lift? I can't, do I even know how it opens? It definitely does. I think it's just a box. I think the lid just lifts off the box. Okay, I'm not even gonna worry about what's inside because this is just so cute. So it's very similar, right? So again, these are online exclusive only products. Um, and I will share the link because I don't even have the name of it here. I wasn't even gonna talk about them, but then I've got these super cute little, so stamp set, dies, gems, designer series paper, it's beautiful. You can only get it online though. So I'm sure if you go to stampinup.com, it's gonna be one of the first thing that pops up there. Um, but yeah, beautiful, huh? Right? Okay. So then we have another little treat box that has that fun um, stamp and it says, oops, that was upside down. It says for you. That is part of the um, suite, like the holiday, or it's not holiday, the Valentine suite of products in our mini catalog. Super duper cute. And then some of, that's the designer series paper too. More yummies. There are lots of yummies inside all of these things. Here's another beautiful box and I love, so this is from Stacy, and she used a one of those little magnetic like a little magnet inside there so it's it like really holds nicely and she put chocolates in there and there are just a few eaten from last weekend i have a few left there right but that's super cute featuring some of that fancy flowers designer series or favored i think it's favored flowers designer series paper <laughs> okay so then stacy also let me see if i can get this one together she <laughs> i can't remember where this stamp is even from but i'm trying to like put it back together we like giggled so hard. It was, I think, at our last craft o -rama. So the little sentiment says, cow's it going? <laughs> and it had the little cows um, on the stamp set. So that was the joke. Actually, I probably need to text her today and say, cow's it going? Because <laughs> it was just one of those, you know, like you get those silly moments. Like that was our silly moment at the last craft o -rama. We kept on saying that. Like we just like burst it out throughout the weekend. Cow's it going? <laughs> Anyway, you can see the like kind of silly humor that we have um, at the, <laughs> at these events. Um, just so much fun. Just, you know, whenever you get together with girlfriends, right? And then she said this um, is some lovely uh, uh, hand lotion. I was going to say hand sanitizer, but that's not it. But super duper cute, right? So then that's that little box. So all these girls love to like just look for fun ideas. I can't even believe how many of these things they gave. And then here's another cute little, the one that says, hey there, with all those beautiful flowers that actually this is my class to go, that Sentimental Park class to go. So featuring a bunch of those cute little uh, bitty flowers and designer series paper. Hello, Irresistible. Thank you, Nikki. I'm just seeing your post. That's what this is. Hello, Irresistible Suite. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki, for coming through on that one. Then this one has one of those Toblerone candy bars inside. Um, and isn't that beautiful? So this was this is some retired designer series paper. Um, but this was from Stacy also with that beautiful... Um, Emerald Envy ribbon, right? Um, and it says, you are wonderful in every way. And it was so funny because she gave it to me and then she's like, oh, I need to bling that up a little bit. And so then she hands it back to me. I'm like, oh, okay. So she blinged it up. She put the little um, dot above the, uh, oh, actually it is the O, right? The U, the Y-O, the O is the, <laughs> is the bling. And then, hi, Sunday. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> More like the cute stuff just never ends, right? Here's another cute little treat box. That This was my friend Melissa that made this one and she's trying to use up all of her polished pink. So all the in colors that are retiring, she's trying to use up all of her products. So she used some of the designer series paper and some of the ribbon. And I think most of these have like treats and chocolates inside other than the candle and the lotion. So I didn't open all of them. This one has a little um, chapstick inside too, which is so cute, right? The little My Friend, that cute little box right there. So just, oh my gosh, like this just amazing amount of super duper cute um, treats from everybody. So it, it was so fun. We, it's like you basically come, come downstairs in the morning and like there's your little, um, oh, Emerald, and I knew when I said that, I was like, that doesn't sound right, but I'm just gonna go with it. Evening Evergreen, yeah. Emerald Envy, was that ever a color? I feel like it was, but I don't know, right? So yeah, AKA Evening Evergreen, yes, that's right. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon, I'm glad you caught that one for me. So Miss Valerie, hello and welcome. Okay, so yeah, lots and lots of cute treats 
um, just so fun to share cute little, and, and I love all of those ideas. They're great. Like if I need like a last minute gift, I like go to my stash and I, you know, may kind of re-gift it um, if I need a last minute something. Or they're great, like they might show up as club member treats or bingo treats or who knows, um, but lots of good ideas there. So just had to share those with you guys. Um, and you can see how much fun, like I guess I'm also kind of encouraging, get together with your friends and do some crafting because obviously it, it lifted my spirits for sure, you know, kind of the whole winter time, winter blues. So it was just great to spend the weekend with friends and just be silly, just really be silly together and have a great time. So I encourage you all to do that whenever you can. Uh, okay, oh, and speaking of that, speaking of crafting together, our next one day retreat, let me check my notes, is Saturday, April 22nd. So that's right here in Alma. So if you're local or if you want to drive and come up and hang out with us, we would love to have you. So <laughs> thank you. Emerald Envy was a former color. I thought so. I'm like, I feel like I'm not making that up. Hello, Teresa. Welcome, welcome. So yes, our next one day retreat right here in Alma, Saturday, April 22nd, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So we're out at the Peace Lutheran Church, which is on Warwick Drive, right near the hospital. Uh, basically, it's just a fun day where you get to craft. You get to make whatever you want, bring whatever you want to work on for the day. I feed you all day long. I make cute treats. Maybe some of those will show up as little treats for you at the one day retreat. Um, we have make and takes with a goodie bag. I always love to use products from your goodie bag in your make and takes so you can see how that you could play them, kind of get your wheels turning, um, things that you could create with your um, goodie bag stuff. I also bring my all my buy one get one free stuff is there so I have a buy one get one free sale. Also I bring all of my current crafting supplies so all of my dies, embossing folders, stamp sets, punches, any of that you can use throughout the day. So it's just a super fun day. $64 for the day. You actually get an extra free gift from me if you sign up and prepay by March 17th. So let me know if you're interested or if you uh, have any questions. So, and thank you, Philomena. <laughs> she says, you make the best treat packages. So thank you, I appreciate that. Lots of good ideas out there. Most of them are not mine. I might um, change up what I use with them, but. The the, like the layout generally is not something I created. Um, just found them online on Pinterest or YouTube or anywhere. Lots and lots of great ideas out there. So yeah. Um, okay. So, ooh, okay. So I want to make sure that everybody knows we have more items to celebrate, right? So we have like about it's not even two weeks, is it, right? Because today, isn't today the 17th? We have like 11 or 12 days left of celebration. I can't believe, like I feel like it just started and it's almost over already. So if you have not taken advantage of celebration yet, we have additional offerings. Uh, this is backwards, obviously. I think I showed it last time, flipped it down. I'll do that again um, this week also. Um, but we have, so we've got um, a kindness card kit, a Let's Party treat packaging, the white three quarter inch frayed ribbon, the essential tag punch, the songbird builder punch, into the clouds embossing folder, hive 3D embossing folder, loveliest layers decorative masks, and enjoy the journey designer series paper. Those are all, you can get any of those for free with a $50 order. You also can get the Eden's Garden Bundle, which is a stamp set and dies, free with a $100 order. That's probably like a $50 value at least, maybe $50, $55. So that's like an amazing um, prize for a $100 order. You can go to stampinup.com and see all of these items there also too. Um, they'll list, they'll put all of those in addition to the ones that have been um, offered since the beginning of Celebration in the Celebration brochure. So lots of good things to get. Celebration, like I said, like 12 days left stock up on your basics your cardstock adhesive envelopes whatever bundle you've had your eye on get it now so you can get free stuff too right so i would encourage you to do that while you can right 11 more days um actually i'm going to leave that right there so we can flip that down too okay mm, well there's that okay I'm, you know always trying to stay organized right let's see let's see okay i think <clears throat> we're going to do our first drawing for these are called the enamel dot essentials so just really nice kind of simple i always think of these maybe for masculine projects but there are there are white that are hiding back here crumb cake and knight of navy uh little dots basically so we're going to give these away right now your name is in the drawing if you shared our last facebook live video if you shared my class to go kit post or if you signed up for my email list your name is in this little basket right here okay so 
here we go. One lucky winner will receive. Gotta shake those up, make sure they're all separated. The enamel dot, the essential enamel dots, I think they're called. I can remember now. <laughs> Feeling a little flaky today. Actually, I'm a little worn out from all that um, shoveling that I had to do, that I have to say. <laughs> Okay, we haven't had to do much of that. I'm like, oh, I gotta like knock on knock on wood, right? Okay, ah, oh, Miss Becky White, congratulations. You are the winner of the, I'm gonna say it, right, the enamel dot essentials. I will get those mailed out to you. Congratulations, Miss Becky. Okay, let's see. I can put those right there. That can go there. All right, I gotta get my names in for the next drawing. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, uh, we are going to give away, these are the 2021-2023 in-color enamel dots, okay? So the fun thing about these, well, not fun, right? I guess it's kind of sad, actually. These are going to be retiring. These are our colors that are going to be, uh, so Evening Evergreen, not Emerald Envy, Soft Succulent, Polished Pink, Fresh Freesia, and Pale Papaya, which I will show you them on my cardstock also. So make sure... Let's see what's, oh, <laughs> like what is Sharon saying? Let's see, she ordered all of the, oh, in the Enjoy the Journey Suite, accept the paper, and then she got that for free. Very nice. That's a good idea, Miss Sharon, because you can get that free during celebration. Okay, so the, these are our in colors that are retiring. So we've got a little bit of time, but actually I would say probably, it's probably the beginning of March, beginning of March? Somewhere. Anyway, soon, very, very soon, we're going to learn all the items that are retiring. We know that these colors are going to be retiring. So Fresh Freesia, Soft Succulent, Pale Papaya, Evening Evergreen, and Polished Pink. These are ink colors that are going to be retiring. So if you need any more cardstock, if you need your ink pad or an ink refill for your ink pad, if you need um, the gems, right? If you need the gems, um, what else? If you need the blends or the markers, <coughs> excuse me, any of those things, make sure you order them. I always encourage you to order them before the retiring lists come out because once everybody is reminded that these things are retiring, they, they fly off the shelf. They go like hotcakes. <coughs> <coughs> oh boy. <coughs> I need my mint, I think. I'm gonna have to get a sip of water here. Mm. I think it's kind of mental too. I just need to tell myself I'm fine, I'm fine, but sometimes it doesn't work, so, <laughs> okay. Mm. Excuse me as I'm taking care of that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so yes, anyway, back to what we were talking about. These are the in color dots that will be given away if you share this Facebook Live video right here. If you sign up for my email list, which the link is above the details to this Facebook Live video. And then the third way is if you share my class to go kit posts. So those posts are right here on this Facebook group. Share those, please share those. I'm trying to meet, reach more people that are interested in getting one of those class to go kits. So I love your shares. Your name will go on the drawing to win these enamel, or not the enamel, the in color opal rounds. And they are beautiful. If you guys haven't taken a look at these lately, they're just, they look like candy. All these little things look like candy. That's probably why I love them. <coughs> okay, I can do it. Um, let's see, we talked about that, we talked about that. Oh yes, yeah. so okay, I want to, I'm gonna have to grab a mint real quick. Hold on, hold on one sec. <coughs> because I have a feeling this is gonna keep happening. Okay, let's see, here. <laughs> okay, if I do that, so I've got, <laughs> I've got one of these mints, so it's gonna be like a big thing in my cheek, because that's the first thing I could find. Okay, but I, I think, all right, we're gonna try this and see if this helps, right? Okay, so bear with me when I, <laughs> yeah, okay. Does it look like a funny pool? <laughs> no, I talk funny too, huh? All right, mm. I need like a, mm. okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna have half of it at a time. Okay, there we go. All set, much better now. Okay, wait, let me just kind of wipe my fingers off a little bit. Okay, here we go, what are we talking about? Oh, we're talking about welcoming Fawn Wright and Diane Kreitz right here to our Inkspired Stampers Facebook group. They both took advantage of the awesome starter kit deal during celebration. Did I bring it? Yes, I did. They got one of the super cute little, oops, I have to pull that down a little bit more. The little, the mini cut and emboss machine. <coughs> 
They also picked $175 in product and paid only $129 plus tax, no shipping. Oh my goodness, what an awesome deal, right? If you don't need, which I don't know how you couldn't need, but if you don't need the little mini cotton emboss machine, forget this, just pick $175 in product and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. So either way, you've got three options. You can get the white machine, the boho blue machine, or skip the machine and just get the $175 in product. So awesome, awesome deal. You have from now until the end of February, so February 28th, it's like 12 days from now, to be able to get that awesome starter kit deal. You also get 20% off of all of your orders after that. And you become a member of our Inkspired Stampers team. And you get to hang out with really cool people like Sharon, who's on Facebook Live right now. Uh, Bonnie, who's on Facebook Live right now. I'm trying to think if any of my other team members are on here right now. But anyway, and even just hanging out with everybody right here on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. Not necessarily all people of my team, but just people that love to be around and a part of this. So we would love to you for you to be a part of this as well. So let me know if you have any questions about the starter kit. Awesome, awesome deal. You can get that super cute machine. Um, like I said, become a part of our Inkspired Stampers group. We have a separate Facebook group for our team where we do team challenges. Um, I hold my uh, team meeting on Facebook Live as well as it actually being live. Uh, you, we have make and takes at our team meetings. You can participate in those even if you're long distance. Lots of incentives and giveaways and recognition and lots of great things happening within our team as well. So love to have you be a part of that. Um, so again, let me know if you have any questions on the starter kit too, okay? We got 12 days left to get you signed up. You can do it right online or get in touch with me and I'm happy to help you um, get your starter kit order entered, okay? Um, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, where is it? Right here. Okay, you also, so as part of um, joining my team, if you join my team, or if you spend $100 with me in February, your name is gonna go into the drawing to win one of my Scenic Garden stamp sets. So as many sets as I have, I'm gonna give away on our first Facebook Live in March. So again, buy the starter kit or spend $100 through me during February, and your name goes in the drawing to win one of these awesome Scenic Garden stamp sets. And like I said, as many sets as I get, I'm gonna give away, okay? So love to have you get your chance to win one of these beautiful stamp sets too. <laughs> Thank you, Beth, that's very sweet. I appreciate that. Um, 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 okay, oh, the other thing too I should mention, so back to this deal, right? If you spend $100 through me, your name goes in the drawing for the Scenic Garden stamp set. You also get all the other Facebook Live freebies that I'll tell you about in just a little while too. So uh, you just so much good free stuff right now during celebration too, right? Okay. Um, <clears throat> where is that list? Oh, right here in front of me. Okay, so the other thing I want to mention, I have so many flyers around here, is our celebration celebration event. So this is an event where you can only earn your way in to the event. It's a free event. You earn your way by hosting a private party or class, purchasing the starter kit, or spending at least $150 through me during celebration, which is basic, basically all of January and all of February. This is just a fun free event where I spoil you and say thank you to you with, uh, let's see, snacks and treats, specials, buy one, get one free, sneak peeks of new catalog product, stamping, make and takes, gifts, prizes, games, and more. So it's an awesome event. It's going to be held on Saturday, March 18, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., so it's kind of a come-as-you-wish type of thing. Um, so just basically a great event to say thank you for your support of my Stampin' Up! business during celebration. I will say also, if you are long distance and you qualify, I will make your make and takes and get your prizes and treats and everything and mail them to you. So I want you to know that even if you're long distance, you can qualify and still um, benefit from the celebration celebration event, okay? So I would also like to mention the names of the people that have already earned their spot, either again by hosting a private party or class, buying the starter kit, or ordering $150 through me during celebration. Some of you are very, very close too, so if you want to know where you're at, how close you are, let me know and I can give you that info as well. But these are the people that have already earned their spot 
at the cel celebration, celebration. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think the neighbor dog is out. And every time he comes, he goes outside, he barks for absolutely no reason, which is lovely, if you can tell. So then Stormy, my little guy, has to bark back at him. So, okay, he's upstairs, so hopefully you guys don't hear him too much. Anyway, I'm just going to keep talking, and eventually he'll stop barking. Okay, so congratulations to Rose Castellan, Lori Cresswell, Cheryl Hall, Teresa Hinchman, Denise Ledbetter, Death Nor Deb Northrup, Heidi Sue Parsons Moore, Monica Talbot, Roseanne Lafreniere, and Diane Kreitz have already earned their spot at the Celebration Celebration event. So again, if you're wondering how close you are, just let me know. Just send me an email, and I can let you know how close you are. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm going to grab another quick sip of water. Mm. Okay, I think... We're getting there. I'm getting, I'm getting better. I'm getting over it. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Do I even dare tell you guys this? <laughs> I have, let me grab it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. I've done a really good job, but I still have one left. <laughs> I have one designer series paper share left. $50. Look at all of this paper. That's the vellum, actually, at the back there. That's kind of flopping over, isn't it? But you get all of the 6 by 6 paper, all of the 6 by 12 paper, every pack of paper in the mini catalog, in the celebration brochure, and the host designer series paper, too. You get all of this, a quarter of a pack of all of that for just $50. One left. Let me know who wants it. Comment right here. Um, email me, let me know, and it is yours. I would love to get this sent out to you. It's all ready to go, okay? <laughs> I'm like, I, I sold three of them uh, to, to my friends at craft o -Rama last weekend. <laughs> I brought them all, and I'm like, hey, who wants a designer series paper share? So, yes, yeah, so they all bought them, and I have one left. I was trying to get them to split it even, but they're like, nah, we don't need any more than that. So, anyway, let me know if you would like one. <laughs> okay, um... Mm -hmm. Okay, I think, yeah, we're actually doing, we're doing all right here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we are actually, let's see, where, <laughs> sorry, I have so much stuff set out here, but I can do this. Okay, focus. We are going to talk about <laughs> who is going to get actually the best day stamp set. This is the stamp set that I was giving away on our last Facebook Live. And like I said, it's just so cute. I'm gonna use it on Facebook Live in just a little bit to um, make our projects. So your name is right here in my little basket if you spend at least $50 through me um, and use the host code that I'll give you. It's also on my blog and in the link to, or in the details above this Facebook Live video. Um, okay, so your name is in here. If you did that, if you spent $50, you automatically, get both of these projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. You also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are the iridescent pastel gems. Again, free with your $50 order. And your name is in the drawing for the best day stamp set. If you bumped your order up to the $100, you also get your name in the scenic drawing stamp or scenic garden drawing stamp or stamp stamp set drawing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. One lucky person will get the best day stamp set. And the winner, let me make sure. Oh yeah, they're like, I didn't feel like <clears throat> there. They were stuck together. I was like, I don't feel like there are enough in there. But okay, one lucky winner, Miss Heidi Sue Parsons Moore. All right, congratulations. You are the winner of the best day stamp set. So I will get this stamp set sent out to you, Miss Heidi Sue. Okay. Um <laughs> okay, this is what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live. This is the Covered in Sunshine stamp set. I love the sentiment, and then I love kind of how they're designed, I guess I would say. So I've got, I can't tell you what a gift it is to call you my friend. It's kind of hard to read that <laughs> in, in the rainbow, but isn't that super cute, right? That sentiment is great. Um May the road ahead of ahead of you be brighter than when than the one behind, lined with wildflowers and covered in sunshine. That one's cute too, huh? Right? 
So I love these big sentiments too, because you they do so much of the work for you on a card, um, just with kind of the look of them, right? The design, um, they just are eye-catching, right? And then we've got, may the dreams you hold dearest come true and the kindness that you share come back to you. That one's beautiful too, right? So awesome set of sentiments in the Covered in Sunshine stamp set. Again, your name will go in the drawing to win this stamp set on our next Facebook Live. Uh, just put them in a $50 order, and why wouldn't you do that? Because you get celebration stuff too, and you may win this stamp set right here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's why. It's funny, when I picked up this PDF tutorial, Storm, it didn't seem very big, so I only had about a third of it, but yeah. This is that tutorial that you can get free with the $50 order. Awesome. Lots and lots of great ideas in there. Okay. <laughs> I think we are ready. Yeah, okay. He's just gonna bark his face off, isn't he? Okay, it's all right. Okay, so turn your heads away. We're flying through the air and I'm gonna show you one more thing and then we're gonna do our stamping. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> mm. Okay, flipping the camera down. Super sunny, so yeah, of course there's gonna be a glare. We're gonna to try to work through it, but okay. So these were the additional items more to celebrate, right? Okay, so if you guys can see that kindness card kit, let's party treat packaging, the white frayed ribbon. Then we've got the essential tag punch, songbird builder punch. That one's kind of hard to see, but it's the into the clouds embossing folder. <clears throat> the hive 3D embossing folder. Loveliest layers, decorative masks. The Enjoy the Journey, Journey Designer Series paper. This is the one that Sharon said she bought the suite and then she um, got the Designer Series paper for free, the Enjoy the Journey suite. And then lastly, free with your $100 order is that Eden's Garden Bundle. Awesome, right? I can't even believe they're giving away that huge bundle free with a $100 order. That is very, very cool. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. I'm going to give you, here's our host code for February, the UWNY7WQX. So make sure if you order through me that you use that host code, okay? All right, so I just want to show you guys, if you haven't seen, we have this beautiful class to go. Let me just show you the designer series paper. This is the, <clears throat> the Regency part. Maybe I should do like half and half one. Oh, that dog is gonna drive me crazy today. Sorry, <laughs> like losing my, trying to like not have all the blues together either. So let's see, maybe we'll put this green one. Okay, so here's one, can you guys see that right? There's one side of all of the papers and there's the other side. So you got pretty kind of floral prints on one side and then um, I don't know, kind of, kind of some stripey, little, little more floral light, little florals, right? Polka dots, kind of geometric patterns, beautiful paper, right? It is, Miss Deb, yes. Okay, and then here is the other half of it, and it's all six by six, so it's going to come just like this. This is what we used on our projects also. Ooh, look at the pretty blues, too. I always think of those great for masculine cards with those navy blues there, right? Okay, so that's the designer series paper. Let me show you the stamp set and the dies. Okay, we've got that and that, and I'll show you the cards in a sec, right? Okay, let me make sure I have my notes here. Yes, okay, so Sentimental Park stamp set. That glare, hold on, <clears throat> let's see, we're gonna try to move. <laughs> How far do I have to go? There, okay, we're away from the glare. See if that'll do it. Hmm. Okay, so the Sentimental Park stamp set, beautiful stamp set, lots of great imagery that the dies will cut, and then sentiments, thanks, thinking of you, let's celebrate you, dear friend, love, and then these are kind of builder ones, right? Your new adventure for, so you could say just for you, best wishes, uh, let's celebrate your new baby, let's celebrate your anniversary, your graduation, you are amazing, and happy birthday, and then there's that love right? So awesome sentiments and imagery, just so pretty, right? So where is like, there's this die right here that will cut both of those little guys out. And then look like this one will cut that out. 
And then there's all of this extra, like kind of complimentary. Do you see all of these? Like you could just put all of these on some paper, right? And you would have a bunch of little dies. Let me show you. Oh, that dog is just going crazy. So here is an example using these dies, right? So look at all of these different dies and then all of the beauty that you can create with it too, right? With these, look at, just so, so there's like that little cutout, which is that one right there. Can you guys see that? <clears throat> Beautiful, huh? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so stamp set, dies, bundle, right? Designer series paper, also included in this class to go, are the iridescent pastel gems and the baker's twine essentials pack. Okay, so let me show you the cards and then we'll tell you about the options that are available. Okay, so Sentimental Park Class to Go, two of each of these is what you'll make in the Class to Go. We've got the Thinking of You, and I just stamped some little flowers inside there. This one is the Let's Celebrate with that cute little designer series paper and that just kind of tucks right inside there. We've got the Thanks for all the wonderful things you do. And then lastly, we have a dear friend with the stamping on the inside, right? Okay, and look at all the detail. It's gorgeous, beautiful. Just so much great kind of detail that can be created simply too with these dies, okay? So option number one, stamp set, dies, so, so the bundle, right? The twine, the, the, what are these called? The iridescent pastel gems and a full pack of the designer series paper, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. Plus, you also get to pick a free celebration choice with option number one. You actually are getting these little gems for free in option number one as well. So you get a celebration choice and the gems for free. You also get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put the projects together. Option number one is $99. Option number two is always, if you already have the stamp set and the dies, uh, order those through your own demo idea if you're a demonstrator to get your discount, right? Then you get the designer series paper, the twine, and the dots, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, plus the PDF tutorial. Option number two is $47. <clears throat> Both option number one and option number two ship for an additional priority mail shipping fee of $10. Uh, option number three, just the PDF tutorial, $15, tells you how to put everything together. Option number four is for my downline. Any of my Inkspired stampers can get the make and takes for just $15 as well. They also get the PDF tutorial for free anytime they want it. Um, let's see, RSVPs are due by next Friday, February 24th, and the kits will ship out no later than March 8th. Okay, so let me know. These are beautiful cards. I love the paper and all of the little details. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Okay, so let me know if you are interested in that class to go. All right, we are ready to do our stamping, right? Yeah, okay, let's do it. I gotta find my grid paper. It's buried, but I know it's here. Okay, we've got this and this. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up so we can see what we're doing there, right? Okay, so again, <clears throat> best day stamp set, so cute. We are gonna do some coloring. I actually did some of the coloring ahead of time because I thought, oh, you're not necessarily gonna want to watch me color all of this, but I'm gonna show you and tell you what I did. So also, I gotta find that, hold on. My designer series paper, it's the host designer series paper in the back of the mini catalog, flowers and more. So this you can get for free. You have to put in a minimum $150 order. That's when host rewards start. So $150 order, 10% rewards. So you get $15 in host rewards. This paper, you get uh, 48 sheets, 12 different designs, four of each of them. It's 18 host dollars, but you can pay the difference. So if you put in a $150 order, you're gonna get $15 free. So you just pay $3 for 48 sheets of that designer series paper, okay? This is one of those patterns. Um, let me just show you, I do have that right here. You might as well, because it's beautiful paper. Let me pull it out of my paper share that I know someone is gonna order soon, right? So there's this pattern that we used right here. Okay, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna show six, three, four, five. Okay, so here's kind of front and back, oop. That's an extra one, isn't it, huh? 
Move that one over there. Okay, so you can see floral, stripey, diagonal, stripey, bright, bold, beautiful patterns. Really pretty, isn't it, huh? If you like those fun, bright, bold patterns, right? And then here is the other half. These as well, right? That one's really pretty, isn't it? Looks like maybe pale papaya too, one of our in colors that's retiring. Ooh, look at all that beauty there too, huh? So lots of bright, bold patterns there in that flowers and more designer series paper. Okay, so back to our card. This dog is never gonna stop barking, is he? Okay, I don't know, hopefully you guys can't hear it. It's driving me crazy, but I'm gonna just try to take a deep breath and just ignore it. Is it possible? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> here we go. So we have our Fresh Freesia, another one of our retiring in colors. Get it while you can, ladies. Okay, so here's our full piece of cardstock. We've got our eight and a half by 11 inch. We are gonna cut it. Well, let's, yeah, we're gonna cut it in half at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we're gonna score it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card right there. Next, we have a piece of Sweet Sorbet cardstock four by five and a quarter that is just going to layer right on there here's our flowers and more designer series paper that measures three and three quarter by five inch and you guys can see i pulled these colors right out of the designer series paper so there's fresh freesia and there's sweet sorbet that's why i used those colors on here then i have a piece of basic white cardstock that goes on the inside that also measures the four by five and a quarter inches I always like to mention that I will include all of the dimensions, all of the item, the product codes for everything that we're using, colors, all the details that you need to recreate, order and recreate to make these projects will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? Then we have just another piece of basic white cardstock that we're gonna do our stamping. So let me see, there it is. Okay, so my black memento ink is what I'm gonna start with. Oops, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Now I'm gonna be touching and getting like stuff all over my, uh -huh. I was just gonna move that card out of the way so <laughs> that I wouldn't um, have a problem and then instead I just got ink all over my hands. I am press pressing, tapping pretty darn firmly here. <clears throat> because I have my memento black. Stormy, you need to stop barking, please. You need to stop, no more barking. Okay, so I'm pressing very firmly because I wanna make sure all of my black ink comes off of my stamp and onto my paper. So I'm happy with that, right? Next we are, and I'll show you, um, maybe I won't even die cut that right now, but I used, these are, <laughs> that's so funny Luann every day you have ink on your fingers is a great you're right it is a great day that means you were having fun stamping right okay so these are the deckled rectangle dies and I use the one two three the fourth smallest or largest die right there to die cut that I already did some of my stamp or my coloring because I didn't like I said I didn't know if you guys would want to watch me do all of it but I want to tell you kind of what I did and where I'm at now so <clears throat> Okay, quick sip of water. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp, let's actually do this first. So with our Fresh Freesia ink, we are gonna stamp our stamp, our inside sentiment. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. It's funny how many people have told me that they hear me in their head when they stamp, right? Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> it's the best day because it's your birthday. So that's gonna go on the inside, okay? Now we're gonna bring this back. So I'm just gonna keep this for another time. Uh, maybe another card to send out to someone, right? When you put an order in through me, you're gonna get these projects sent to you as a thank you. Okay, so I am going to use, so I will show you. I used uh, Calypso Coral. This is the dark Calypso Coral on the H and the P. I used <clears throat> the dark Pale Papaya on the P and the Birthday. And then I used my dark, gorgeous grape on some of these dots, okay? So we're gonna kind of keep plugging along. This is the light, is that right? I'm sorry, Highland Heather. Dark Highland Heather and then light Highland Heather. Okay, so I'm going to 
just color in my A here. Okay, hopefully that's not wiggling too much. I don't even wanna look up because I'm afraid I'll go outside of the lines. But you can see how easy this is, right? Stormy did not get the memo that I'm doing Facebook Live right now and that he needs to not bark, right? Okay, so now I'd like to just kind of dot right inside these. If it's a little bit bigger, I swirl around. If not, I just kind of literally tap my marker right to the little dot. I found that that's almost easiest. Okay, so there's our Highland Heather. We're gonna go back to our dark pale papaya. And we're just gonna color in this little bit right here. Okay, so you can see there's um, a little bit of coloring on this, I think goes a long way. Then lastly, we're gonna add in our little dots again with our, this is the dark Calypso coral, okay? So we're just gonna color in our little circles. I feel like it's wiggling, but every time I look up, then it stops. So you guys will have to tell me, hopefully it's not wiggling too much. I can't imagine that it would be wiggling too much, right? Because I'm barely like even touching the paper here. Let me get those right there and there. Okay, so there we go. That is all you need to do to color that little baby. So very simple, right? Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna scoot these back out of the way. We are going to put some dimensionals behind this little guy right here. Okay, put those right on there. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Okay, where's my adhesive? We're gonna grab this one right here. We're gonna put this on the inside. Oops. Okay. All right, this piece goes right inside there. We are actually going to adhere these together and then we're gonna tie our ribbon around them. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got those two together. Now we are gonna tie our fresh freesia again, retiring, retiring, retiring. If you love this, and I love all of these ribbons, this is making me very, very sad that this ribbon in all of our in colors will be retiring because it's just so easy to work with. Um, so hopefully they come up with something similar uh, to replace it. I'm always excited about seeing all of our new products though too that will be coming with our new annual catalog as demonstrators. So if you buy the starter kit, ladies, you will actually be able to pre-order. I think I read like the beginning of, is that right, March? Maybe, it, no, it's gotta be April. Sorry, I'm like, where's the other little tail there? There we go. Um, I think we get to see the catalog. Uh, I don't know, I shouldn't even say. But anyway, basically you get, <laughs> you get sneak peeks before anybody else if you're a demonstrator, if you buy that awesome starter kit deal. Um, and then you get to order for anybody else does too in terms of being a customer. So it's like a great perk for being a demonstrator is being able to see things early and order things early. Okay, so we're just gonna put that right on there, right? So fun. And then I had to add some bling. So we have, these are our opaque adhesive backed gems. So we are going to just kind of put a couple of these. And it's funny because the colors aren't even like totally matching because I think that this is um, Blackberry Bliss and this is definitely Gorgeous Great, but they all worked. When I put them on here, like I don't, you know, can you guys tell that the colors aren't exactly the same? Fresh Freesia definitely is, and I think that this is Sweet Sorbet, very close to Calypso Coral, right? Okay, so we're gonna use, we're gonna put one of those there. We're gonna do, oops, I'm trying to just do this with my fingers, and then we'll do a gorgeous grape one. Did I get it? Nope. <laughs> it's maybe why you don't use your fingers, right? There we go. Okay, so there, we just add a little bit of bling. And there is our first project. So you can see how simple that was, right? Okay, let's see. We are going to, let's kind of clean this off because I'm very afraid that I'm going to end up getting like black ink <clears throat> on things that I don't want black ink on, okay? So we're just going to clean those off with our little chamois right there, okay? I think I do need that black memento ink again. We're going to get rid of this. 
Need those. Okay. Okay, so card number one is done, right? Okay, so you guys, <laughs> here's the next one with this super cute kitty cat popping out of the cupcake. Now, I have to say that my friend Jennifer Bradley was making cards very similar to this at our Craft Orama weekend, and I was like, oh, I have to make something. So I think she, she definitely used a different designer series paper, maybe one that was retired. And so I had decided I wanted to use this flowers and more designer series paper. So I thought that pattern was super cute too. And then again, to highlight the polished pink cardstock which is one of our retiring in colors as well okay so all right let me show you oh and the ribbon the knight of navy ribbon so fun right okay i got some more coloring i did do some of it again because i got <laughs> got a number i'm like i don't remember using all those but i guess i did okay get our stamps we did some fun stamping too our ink. Okay. Let's see what do we have here, right? Okay, so we are going to start with a piece of polished pink cardstock. This is a tall card. So along the eight and a half inch side, we're going to cut it at four and a quarter inches. Okay. And then along the 11 inch side, we're going to score it at five and a half inches to make our tall card right there. Oh, Sharon, thank you. We get the digital catalog, so we get to see the catalog online on March 29, and we can pre-order on April 4. I knew I was like, I knew I was being aggressive with that beginning of March, and so I was like, wait a minute, I don't think I should say anything. So thank you. I'm glad you you can keep me honest and updated there on uh, <laughs> what the plan is. So yes, March 29th, which is like, well, I guess it's about a month, right? Um, we will be able to see the new annual catalog. Okay, so here we go. Basic white cardstock, three and three quarter by five inches. That's going to go right there. We're just layering right on here. Then we have polished pink, three and a half by four and three quarters. And then our designer series paper that measures three and one quarter by four and a half. And that's going to layer right on there. Then we have a piece of our basic white cardstock to do, actually two of them, to do our stamping and die cutting there and there. And then on the inside, we have the little happy birthday with the little sparklers, right? So this piece on the inside, four by five and a quarter inches. So let's just go ahead and do our stamping right now, okay? So we've got polished pink cardstock, I mean ink, excuse me. So we're gonna stamp, which one did we do? Yep, we did the happy birthday in our parakeet party. So we're gonna stamp that one first. We got a little happy birthday. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We're going to make sure it's not upside down, although we probably could just... <laughs> and I looked even and said, oh, yeah, it's not upside down. Okay, so we're going to flip this over, and we're going to make sure it's right side up. I was going to say if I stamp that right in the middle, but it seemed a little bit too low. There we go. So now we're right side up. <laughs> That's really pretty bad, isn't it, ladies? I'm literally just saying that, and it's happening. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to do our little sparklers right there in our polished pink. Uh, actually, we need this stamp again, and I love that sentiment. Wishing you all the wishes. So cute, huh? Okay, so we are going to stamp that. We've got that one and that one here, so wishing you all the wishes. We're going to do a nice, easy tap, tap, tap. This one doesn't matter if it's upside down or not, which apparently they all are, because we're going to just die cut that. And then this guy right here <clears throat> with our little kitty cat cupcake, right? Oh, so cute. Just such a happy little kitty cat too, I think. That's why I like that. Okay, wishing you all the wishes. And we're gonna just stamp that. And I'm pressing, I was tapping pretty hard and I'm pressing pretty firmly because I wanna get all that black ink. And that looks good, okay. All right, we'll just scoot those up and out of there. Okay, so let's see. We are gonna do our die cutting and I'll actually show you uh, so these are new dies. These are called the Something Fancy dies. These were actually from my last class to go. We are going to use a great label set of dies. So we're going to use this little label right here on that one. So again, Something Fancy dies. I'll give you all of the names, product codes, everything that you need to be on my blog. Then we're going to die cut this guy with the scalloped contour dies. And we're going to use, oops, Oh, that one I always pull out, that little edge. We're going to use that one. The third smallest is going to go right on there like that. 
okay? All right, so let me grab, let me scoot those out of the way, all right? Grab my die cutting machine. Here we go, are we still in view? I feel like I've, maybe I've been a little off view, I don't know. Hopefully not, right? Okay. So we're gonna put him there and this one there. Okay, so as long as that stays, that'll be good. This one looks like it's centered pretty well there. Okay, so we're gonna run these babies through. Oh, I don't even wanna say anything, but I think the neighbor dog went inside because he's not barking anymore, which means Stormy's done barking. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, wishing you all the wishes, right? Okay, got that one there. And then, oh, look at that, super cute. Isn't he so cute? He's like a, ch he's a chubby, chubby, chubby kitty too, isn't he? <laughs> okay, all right, let's scoot this baby out of the way. And let's see, we can start putting things together. Although actually, no, let me back up. So I already did some of the coloring. I'm gonna tell you about the colors that I used. Actually, I'm gonna pull this thing back into view so I make sure that I do this correctly. I think I did pretty much everything other than the kitty cat now that I'm looking at it. So we used, <clears throat> this is, I think it actually is a uh, light melon mambo. So if you have polished pink, I didn't have polished pink, but I think that works really well, right? So here's my light melon mambo on that one right there. Then I used the real red. This is dark real red on the hat. I used some dark pumpkin pie on that little stripe and then those right there. Let's see, we're just gonna kind of keep working down. I used my parakeet party on that little stripe and those little guys right there. Then I used, this is, I think it's a light. Yep, the light orchid oasis on that blue on his tie and those little dots right there, okay? Then, oh, on these dots over here, I had to pull in my Blackberry Bliss. So this is dark Blackberry Bliss. I put those on those polka dots right there. So now all I have left to do is we're gonna color in our little kitty cat. I'm gonna color him in all with the light um, smoky slate, and then we'll add some little accents, uh, the shading, I guess I would say, with the dark. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. I was trying to decide whether it was better to have my glasses. I'm a little bit further away because my head would be like right right about where my head would be underneath the camera, I guess I would say, if if I were as close as I want to be these days. So we're not going to do that because then you guys wouldn't be able to see anything. So um, although I guess with my eyesight the way it is, <laughs> it's going to look really good to me, but somebody else might think, oh, that was not a good coloring job, right? I'm trying to use my skinny end around all of the edges and kind of going around some of like that little bow tie right there, right? And then we'll cut, we can kind of come back in with the fat end and color the rest in, right? Okay, so we're just kind of adding, adding, adding all along here. Ooh, so nice, huh? Are you relaxing? We were like laughing about that the other last weekend at Craft o Rama too. We were all. I guess I was doing a lot of coloring um, and just joking. Oh, that's the dark. That's not what I want to do. Oh, well, so he's got a little, he's got a dark spot over his eye. I meant to just use the fat end of the same marker. Okay, well, that's how that's going to go, huh? That's all right. See, when I start trying to, <laughs> I start trying to be conversational and <laughs> chatting a little bit, and then, um, <laughs> And then that's what happens, right? Is I, well, you know, I think he's just gonna have that funny little spot now, isn't he, huh? Okay, so we're just kind of coloring him all in. I'm trying to like, I don't know, that's probably not gonna, that's not gonna go away, is it? Oh, well, that's how that works. Okay, so now we are gonna go back. We're gonna use our dark, and we're gonna kind of, where these, where the little fur things are, right? We're just gonna kinda add a little bit there, and that one, and that one, and there we go. All right, 
He's all colored up, right? So we used a bunch, but it really was super fun to color this little, this chubby little kitty, right? Okay, so I'm gonna flip him over and put some dimensionals on the back right now while I'm thinking about it. And let's see, I'm gonna put one, I just want one down in the corner, actually. I want one right there, because the rest of it is going to overlap, okay. I'll explain that more in a moment. All right, let's, uh, adhesive is what we're looking for. Okay, so we're gonna add this to the inside. And you guys can see when you stamp on here, once you <clears throat> put it on your card base, you're not even gonna know that I have that goof up on the other side. Happens pretty regularly for me, I will tell you that. So just know that. I always recommend um, stamping and then putting adhesive on things so that that way, because if you had already stuck that on there, then you'd be stuck with however it ended up, right? But if you stamp and then adhere things, you can always flip them over first if you're not happy with your results. So we're doing the run it and tip it back, run it and tip it back, right? And we're gonna add this one. Look at how cute, I just love those bright, fun, bright colors, right? Now my sister has two cats and my nieces love their kitty cats. So I'm already like, ooh, one of, one of them might be, and actually my niece Emma, ooh, was, would this be a good <laughs> 21st birthday card? She's gonna be 21 on April 16th. So day after tax day, she turns 21. So maybe I'll have to give her this little birthday card. Perfect timing, because like I said, she loves her kitties. They, whenever they, you know, if they're like homesick, it's because they're missing their kitties more than anything. So they have to come home and snuggle with their kitties. Okay, so we're gonna, I was trying to, Diane, hello, welcome. And congratulations on getting the starter kit. Good for you. And you'll enjoy taking advantage of your 20% discount too on anything you order now that you have bought the starter kit. Oops, that didn't work very well. Okay, let's trim that off. There we go. Okay, so we are gonna grab a mini glue dot. And I'm I'm getting all um, I'm almost done with this roll that's like backwards, right? And there we go. Card number two, wishing you all the wishes with the, oh, happy birthday. And you know what I forgot? Actually, I forgot to put the dots on. We gotta use, so these are the classic matte dots. So we're gonna put just a couple of these little black ones. So they come in uh, white, vanilla, basic gray, and basic black. Okay, there we go. Now we are all good, right? Okay, <clears throat> like a frog in my throat here. Okay, so quick recap, as always, especially if you're new to Facebook Live, I wanna make sure you know that you get both of these projects when you put an online order in through me. Use this host code right here. Your name is entered into the drawing to win the Covered in Sunshine stamp set. And you also get to pick from either the free embellishment or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. If you bump your order up to $100, your name also goes in the drawing to win the Scenic Garden stamp set. As many sets as I have, I'm gonna give away. And you also get five additional cards from me as a thank you. So lots and lots of free stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed these cards. Uh, yes, Diane, I know, the cupcake's so cute, right? Okay, so thanks guys for watching. Oh, Storm's, hey, Storm, that's enough. Okay, I'm gonna sign off now because the dog's going crazy again. Sorry about him. We're gonna have to like, have to get his bark collar out again. All right, bye guys. Thank you. Have a great weekend.